Hi everyone, my name is Steven Weigel, and I've made this cool software here that brings Terpstra's 31 tone equal temper diagram to life. So this is the folder that you get. I have the max patch. I haven't exported it to an app yet, but if you don't have Maximus P and you want it to be a reality, just go ahead and contact me, shoot me an email, uh, or contact me from the website. Here's the max patch itself, and here are the instructions. So before you do anything, you might want to read this if you need historical context and specific instructions. And all the rest of these are pictures and data that just load with the patch. So I click on the patch to open it. it takes a while to load, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, you can see that there's a number here. Each of these have a number, one of 63 uh, pairs of triads, or triad relationships that can happen. And you can see that we're in C major right now, and we are proceeding in the Sharpie direction. So that means that C goes to G instead of going to F, like it would the other way. If I wanted it to go the other way, I could press this flat, and now you can see that all the letters have changed so that it's going in the other direction. Uh, or at least C, the triad, is occupying the triangle that it wasn't occupying before. Uh, I can also change to pitch classes if I don't want to deal with the spellings. But I thought I'd just demo this in some random key that's not C so that we can figure this out. And you can kind of get an idea for how it works because you can click it and make a sound out of it, right? Like if I wanted to see relationship 22, uh, clearly C minor to B minor. Pretty great, isn't it? So there's that, and I could do this to any of them. That's uh, C major to B major. So I can go through all of the diatonic, chromatic, and enharmonic relationships. Let's try the Sharpie direction, and I'm gonna try with some obscure key that we wouldn't know. Um, how about something like F flat? Here's F flat. Okay, so everything is now in the key of F flat going in the Sharpie direction. So I'm just going to play all of the relationships. So those are all the diatonic relationships you can get from an F-flat triad, assuming that it's proceeding sharp-wise around the circle of fifths and not flat-wise. Here's the chromatic genus.
So there we go. Those are all the chromatic relationships you can have in the Sharpie direction. Now, the enharmonic genus is interesting because you have steps that can be 1 out of 31. If you read the instructions again, uh, you'll find that there's closest voice leading between chords here, and that Terpstra has marked that in the diagram. So, see up here, we have this area where there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six steps out of 31. You have these diesis shifts, or one step out of 31, which you don't get in the other areas. So that makes the shift very interesting. And I'll actually try to uh, sing along with one of them. I won't play all of these because there's so many. That's for you to do when you get the max patch, you know, in any key with any pitch classes you want. So... Um, let me try this one. So the enharmonic difference in this one is between E and F flat, right? Because if I go to this keyboard over here, E and F flat are one step away from each other. It's tempting to think that maybe it's C flat to C, but that's actually two away. C I can go down one, two. So it's actually one away from E to F flat. So now I'm going to do that one again, except I'm going to sing along to all of the notes. Do do. do. So from the root, I move down one step. From the third, I moved down three steps. So that's a diatonic semitone. And then from the fifth, I moved up two steps, a chromatic semitone. So the enharmonic step or the diesis is kind of the new thing that 31 tone equal temperament allows. 12 tone equal temperament allows diatonic semitones well, and chromatic semitones to be the same. 19 allows diatonic and chromatic, and 31 allows diatonic, chromatic, and enharmonic. So this gives you an idea of the possibilities that exist. You can also train your ear uh, by singing along to one of the members of the chord to sort of get that enharmonic step in your voice. I have found it super helpful, and plus it acts as a times table for all of these chords, which you would normally have to be pretty good at 31 tone equal tempered music theory to figure out, but now you can just go, oh, I want it in D proceeding in a flatty direction, and I want to hear the enharmonic relationship between a D minor chord and a C double sharp major chord. And there I just hit number 56. This is the one Terpstra remarked about in his paper for being very unusual because you'll notice that all of the scale degrees precede an enharmonic away. So the minor third goes up one, and then the perfect fifth both go down one. So it's parallel fifths, but it's still closest voice leading. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoy this.